Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over five farms that just got a whole lot better. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we're going to be going over five farms that have literally just gotten a hell of a lot better and this is due to the fact of mainly a lot of people aren't really playing at this moment in time so there's less competition but overall a lot of the gold value for these have shot up as people aren't consistently farming for like the Brutus or anything like that. So I thought I would summarise this into a nice video for everybody. That being said, let's just jump into our first one at number one, which is the Dark Iron Ore Farm. Now this is an ore that you can farm up through multiple different sources, the best one being the Molten Core. And this is where you'll be running into the actual raid and not taking out any of the boxes. Killing one of the bosses you will lock yourself for the week so be prepared that do not and try and avoid that as best as possible. I use my druid to go invisible and this stops any unnecessary encounters with a boss so I don't actually kill them. Because what we're going in here for is the dark iron ore and mainly you'll be running around the entire raid doing a complete loop of it and mining any of the dark iron ore around. Along with this, you do also get Blood of the Mountain, which sells for quite a hefty chunk of gold through these Dark Iron Ore deposits. And also, if you see a Molten Destroyer within the actual raid, you can also make up a targeting macro for this. You'll be able to get a hold of more Blood of the Mountain as well, as they are trash mobs, and those can be reset as well. Once you've done a complete lap, all you have to do is either dream walk out and reset the instance or just run back out of the portal and reset the instance that way and then run back in and do another lap. Overall, you're standing to look to make a decent chunk of gold, especially with dark iron ore alone, but this paired with the blood of the mountain farms is a decent chunk of gold overall and I can't stress this enough, this one is a typically an amazing gold farm for you to do. Being said, let's jump on to number two, which is the Royal Jelly Farm. Now this farm is an Alliance only farm, so I will stress this right now, that you'll only be able to farm this up if you are Alliance. Failing that, you can always do the introductionary quest in order to find these jelly deposits. And once you've done that, if you have got the reputation of Revered with the Honeyback Hive, you will be able to see the actual nodes as you would if you were farming ore or herbs. This paired together makes a very nice way of actually doing this and you'll be able to get a load of gold through Royal Jelly as people still use this to get the reputation up to get hold of the Honeyback Harvester mount which is a bumblebee mount. That being said the price dropped quite significantly in BFA as obviously everyone was farming it like crazy to make gold mainly to either get the mount or to farm up gold for their Brutosaur and all that stuff. So, therefore, over the time since everyone's into Shadowlands and a load of people have dropped off and there's less people farming in the open world anymore, the prices of this has gone up, but the sell rate on this has remained relatively the same. That makes it a key prime target for gold farming and overall, this does sell rather nicely in the grand scheme of things, especially when it comes to reputation-esque items, it works rather well. Alongside that, let's jump onto our next one at number three, which is the Essence of Air Farm. This one's located in Silithus, and all you're gonna be wanting to do is go to the top left-hand side of the map, and on that entire area, the massive mountain, you'll be able to go around in a circle and kill air, all of the air elementals. Noted there is an, a rare air elemental which has a higher chance of dropping essence of air but that's just as a little keynote just to see if you, you do see him just kill him as well because you get a higher chance of getting hold of an essence of air. What you're mainly going here for is all of the crafting reagents for the air based stuff so that's like breath of the wind as well as the essence of air farm as well. Those can be sold on the auction house for a decent chunk of gold and overall the sell rate is pretty good for a vanilla based material farm and the price for this has considerably gone up over the time and this is now a prime key farm for people to actually do in the open world. That being said there's really not much to talk about on this one as you're mainly just tagging mobs and you're just 
for running around in a circle. So let's move on to number four, which is the Grom's Blood Farm. Now I love the Grom's Blood Farm, it's an amazing farm. This one is where you'll be going over to Fellwood and you'll be flying around the edge of the actual zone. This can be paired with mining for additional gold per hour and overall this deep this pulls in a decent chunk of gold, especially when it's used as a multi-farm as well. Grom's Blood sells on the auction house for a relatively decent chunk of gold, and you'll also get a load of different types of herbs when you're actually doing this farm. You'll be able to either mill this into their respective pigments and then combine that with inscription, turning that into their respective inks in order to sell on the auction house or use it to craft old world decks which you can sell as well for a pretty penny. Failing that, selling the herbs on the auction house sell re relatively fast and in the grand scheme of things this is a definitely something you should really look into. The actual multi farm and the actual standard herb farm is within worth it under their respective categories and you can see what valuation it will provide you with when you actually go into worth it and have a look at it for yourself just to make sure that this farm is doing well for you but overall this farm has gone up in value over the eu and us servers so this is definitely worth checking out before you go ahead and start farming this now lastly and at number five is the primal manor farm now this one has been doing really well recently and I've been really enjoying it as well. It's been a nice change of pace for this. And this one is located within Netherstorm. What you're going to be wanting to do is go to the bottom right of the actual map of Netherstorm and it's on one of the floating islands. What you'll be wanting to do here is killing a load of the arcane elementals and pretty much they drop a load of moats of mana which can then 10 of those can be turned into one primal mana and then you can sell that on the auction house what you're really wanting to do is completely just go ham and just kill as many as you possibly can obviously on this video I'm running around as a druid just killing them killing them killing them when you're actually doing this they are force respawning as well so the more you can kill the more moats you can actually get this is a prime candidate for actually doing this as a either a two times four farm or also as a five man group farm by just sticking there with a load of druids and just spamming moonfire you'll be able to get a hell of a lot more by doing this in a group but by yourself you still will pull in a decent chunk of gold for this this is definitely a farm to look into as the price of primal mana has gone up over the time and overall I found it to be a reliable source of gold especially when it comes towards crafting as well into my respective Tome of Illusion, Azeroth. Being said guys that is my pick for the five farms that just got a whole lot better. These farms have really been down since BFA and now they've shot back up in value so I wanted to keynote these because definitely worth getting in on or even just checking out at the very least. Aside from all of that guys, have a wonderful rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be soon. If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better, then why not check out the Patreon? Members get additional info, gold making resources and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.